as somebody who has an organization and a foundation that benefit that 75% of your beneficiaries are women, um, just from what you've observed, what would you say are maybe one or two common mistakes that maybe women are making in the entrepreneurial space, like when it comes to their businesses, or would you say you can see from just interacting with women some of the mistakes that they might be making? I think they are not as much <laughs> about mistakes as it is about the okay. cultural reality. And this is not just limited to Nigeria, it's global. Um, men are generally, generally more confident than women. And that's, that reflects in their ambitions, in the scale of their ideas. Situations like where men, as soon as they feel, they, they are able to fill up 40% of the requirements for a promotion, they go meet the boss like, I deserve a promotion. A woman wants to tick every box. She wants to tick every box. And they demand that to even come back earlier before the woman to ask for another promotion. So it's the point of confidence to understand that a man is not born with more confidence. It's something that you can pick up, but because of the way so things have been cultured and the way opportunities have been spread, mm -hmm. men have sort of found themselves in a situation where they feel like they have a right to certain things. I'm not saying women should think like that, but they should think in terms of the fact that they are also humans. The reason why we, and it's fair, that 75% to women is very, very fair. Why, why is it fair? When something is filtered like this, to make it balanced, you have to give some power to decide that, is, right. that yeah. is not balanced. So when you look at it, absolutely, it looks like something that is not fair. But when, like the way affirmative action is in, in the US, several years, several centuries of denying people certain opportunities has to be undone by giving them more opportunities than others. So it's more a confidence thing. And then the other side is about this ecosystem itself. When we organize opportunities like economic opportunities, like say you win or corporate organizations, when they have platforms, and that's why I celebrate first term, they have to go out of their way for women. There is nothing, it's not sexist, it is not nice, it, is, it makes economic sense. When it comes to gender equality and equal opportunity in our society, and generally speaking, we have won the debate on the moral question. Every same person, every reasonable and same person agrees that the fact that I'm a man does not mean I'm, be I'm a better human than mm. you. So we won that debate. But we're yet to win the debate on the business side. Yeah. We're yet to win the debate on the economic side. Yeah. And to do that, we have to be very, very conscious Deliberate. about creating platforms mm. for women before we even start to look at certain things that they do that may not be favoring them. <laughs>